press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Rajat. Welcome back to my channel, FFX World. So many times, many guys already told me that, sir, why you are not making any kind of tutorials related to typography? So today I'll show you how you guys can make a proper typography instead of Photoshop by using Photoshop Action in a very easiest way. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so back again. Uh, just uh, I have to open Photoshop, obviously. Uh, so this is Photoshop version uh, CC, which is the most updated one. Okay, so let's get started. First, file uh, open. The shortcut is open. Uh, Control O. You guys all know that. So just I have that photo. So I just drag and drop. Where's the photo? Where's the photo? Photo? Where is the photo? Yeah, this is the photo. So just drag and drop. Just it will take time. Okay, so this is my photo. Okay, so what I'll do, just leave it like background. It's uh, okay. So then I'll take a new layer from here, just uh, by default. But before starting this tutorial, I want to show you how you guys can install the action of that typography. Uh, basically, this is uh, very easy. So just uh, go to that uh, typography this is my typography okay so this is ATN file format so uh, the ATN file is the action file format so just double click on it it will open directly to the Photoshop and uh, as you guys can see that uh, Photoshop will automatically detect that uh, in this uh, uh, so action they have their own presets like uh, patterns and brushes and all so which is already inside of this folder I'll share this all in my description bar so go and download that uh, action if you wish or there have lots of other uh, actions in uh, web okay so back to Photoshop so this is my photo in this photo what I decided that this lady which is already holding a baby uh, sh she will not uh, be that typography part so I'll decide this character which is that uh, I think the husband one so I will make this tutorial on this point so just uh, take this new layer and rename it like brush and press it ok so in this brush uh, layer what I'll do I'll take a selection quick selection tool and just start making selection for this lady so just start your best selection what do you know okay so select it make sure in this much uh, area you have to select for this tutorial absolute properly otherwise the typographic process will not uh, give you that uh, complete result which you already expect from this uh, Photoshop action because action will do whatever they already recorded in their memory so if you not done your job properly they can't give you that proper output so make sure this <coughs> okay so <coughs> just okay this area is a little bit trickier because both color tones are same okay this is almost uh, cut it properly so now what I'll do is this lady's hair is not selected properly. So I have to select this complete hair by using uh, refine edge. So just press first in this area. Okay. This is no this is actually good. This is enough for me. Okay. Just let it be. This is enough. Now 
in this brush panel, I have to fill this uh, selection by using my color tool, but this area is slightly left, so just yeah, okay. So just take a brush tool and uh, take a color like uh, pink <clears throat> and just draw completely, okay. So now if you are thinking that this character will be covered by your typography part by using that action so just select that character uh, like that lady which will be your uh, non selected character so that's i did just uh, select this lady by using that selection tool and cover it with that color like something pink okay so now the magical part i have that action panel over there I already installed that typography action just oh, click here and just play this button make sure the layer should be called brush I did a mistake I that to paste that uh, layer color on that background so okay so typography 5 and just play here see there is a message they saying that uh, if you want to continue this uh, save this photoshop file so i'll press that continue here and i'll save it in my desktop like psd underscore blur and save it okay so just uh, okay this will save as jpeg okay just play it again from here continue desktop Photoshop and PSD score blur and save it okay so it's saved the next part they will showing me a message which is like the following steps that uh, one the mode should be normal opacity should be 100% so just press continue and see there's a mode should be a normal opacity is by default 100 so now I have to take a custom pattern so there's lots of patterns which is uh, from text many kind of text so I decided that this one is okay for me now just it's completely up to which we, we can choose then just press ok so the rest of the part they will select ok this time they are showing us a, another message which is uh, they want to choose that PSD file which we saved previously in desktop so just press continue and uh, press ok and this is a browser and just select that PSD and the final part photoshop will doing their job and wow what a result what a result I am very happy with this but I need to retune refining something so which is like this is a main part of typography if you switch it off you can see it's pretty awesome pretty awesome result okay now just turn off every layer and you can see that which is what so okay this is this color correction option so here already they have their color corrections to so just open it and just slightly level it adjust your level so if you adjust your level you can see the black spot will going more darker it will give you a more depth so just adjust a little bit do not adjust more otherwise your main photo will be destroyed Okay, so just uh, just your best and um, slightly here that color should go like this. Okay, this is that color tone. See, this color tone is changed. It's the subject color tone. Then this is this one overall contrast. Let's select that overall contrast should go with this color. Okay, fine now I will add another color correction which is color lookup just click it and yes I think okay okay this one is pretty good from this picture so final color correction okay so this is it for today guys I'll show I am already showed you that uh, how you guys can make a 
easiest very easiest way of typography by using photoshop action if you guys really like my videos then do not forget to like my this video and my previous one also and do not forget to like comment share and subscribe vfx world for more fresh contents and tutorials if you have any requirements like this tutorial so you guys can directly ping me comment over there below comment section and you can just go and find my name on facebook i'm always available on social networking so okay guys this is it for today so hope you guys like my this video have fun stay healthy bye bye